ISTQB, Foundation Level, Question 41. Which of the following should not normally be an objective for a test? A. To find faults in the software. B. To ensure the required coverage of a test object. C. To verify whether all specified requirements have been fulfilled. D. To trigger mistakes in the software. Please press pass to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. Correct answer is D. To trigger mistakes in the software, according to ICQB glossary and ICQB syllabus. Why should we trigger a mistake? Very fine, we will see in the explanation section of this video. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A to find faults in the software is a valid test objective, according to ICQB syllabus. And this statement contradictions to test objective 2. Answer B to ensure the required coverage of a test object is a valid test objective, according to ISTQB syllabus, and this statement contradictions to test objective 3. Answer C. To verify whether all specified requirements have been fulfilled is a valid test objective, according to ISTQB syllabus, and this statement contradictions to test objective 5. My recommendation, be very careful, is the question contains the word NOT. It might confuse you. Explanation At the beginning, let's look at definitions, mistake and defect in the ICQB glossary. Mistake or error is a human action that produces an incorrect result. Why should we repeat human mistake? It's definitely not a normal test objective. But tricking failures, find defects, is a testing objective. Notice, it's highly important to not mix up the following definitions. Errors, defects, failures and faults. But we will figure out with such questions related to chapter 1.2 why is testing necessary, starting from 44 of foundation level questionnaire on my YouTube channel. Finally, let's look at the section 1.1.1 test objectives in the ICQB syllabus, where we can see that the second point is triggering failures and finding defects, this is fully consistent with the incorrect answer A. Also, we can see that the third point is ensuring the required coverage of a test object, this is fully consistent with the incorrect answer B. As we all see, that the fifth point is verifying whether all specified requirements have been fulfilled. This is fully consistent with the incorrect answer C. Last but not least, as you might have already guessed, looking at you titanic efforts, diligence and perseverance, I expect a gigantic progress from you, so. I look forward to your success, which might happen overnight. I wish you good luck on the ISTQB Certified Tester Foundation Level exam. Never give up!